Hey, what's going on guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another episode of the Norwich City Fan Event Calendar. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Of course, this is sponsored by Credo Asset Finance. So big thank you to them and go and check them out. Links will be in the description. They're a business that love helping out young people and everyone. Um, so I'm back for a studio tour today, basically. This is probably one of the most requested videos I've ever had. People, for some reason, want to see where I record my videos, what equipment I use, so let's get straight into it. So let me give you like a quick sort of panoramic shot to try and set the scene a bit. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Uh, so that's that. So let's start with the desk basically. So in there is just an airing cupboard. There's nothing in there except for a boiler. And then this is like, took ages to do, but it's all of my train tickets from like the past two years. Um, I travel so much on trains, it's ridiculous. Over the summer I've done, I think it was something like 45 trips to London because um, I was working down there, so that's why there's so many uh, train tickets. Down here is just a few trinkety bits, my memory cards, um, and then uh, a pen and a Sharpie pen. This is my Norwich City Notepad, which I use for just general day-to-day -day stuff. I think that's full now. And then that is my moleskin. If you don't know what a moleskin is, it's basically like the premium notepads, and I use that when I go to like meetings and stuff. I think image is very important when you're trying to get a deal or a business deal, so I wouldn't rock up with like a... a staples value notepad you've got to be taking your premium notepads to business meetings uh here i've just got a lamp thing that's from Lidl, so like a tenor um my bose speakers here they're like incredible uh really really good speakers quite expensive but if you want quality you're gonna have to pay a bit of cash i don't use this anymore this is my logitech c920 webcam i used to record like all my videos on that thing um but now I don't. But it's a really great webcam, probably the best on the market. That's the Logitech C920. Then I've just got like a, a, a keyboard and a mouse. The Cara Crowd, that's the website I used to run. It's no longer called that. It's called Read Norwich, but I had some good times over there. And then this is like the main thing. This is, this is where all the editing happens. So this is a 2015 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro with 16 gig of RAM and some kind of processor, I'm not too sure, but I used to have the 13 inch MacBook Pro, non-retina, non I got that back in 2012, because that was all I could afford, um, and I've got loads of use out of that, but I needed to upgrade, I needed a bigger screen, and I needed some more power, so I got the 15 inch retina, and it is brilliant. Uh, quite expensive, but if you're a student, you can get student discount at Apple, that brings the price down quite a bit, and it works out with just such great value. If you're wanting to edit videos and, and just sort of do more creative things, MacBook Pro is the one for you. Uh, and they're such a great build quality. I've got that linked up to a Asus 24 inch uh, HD 1080p monitor, just so I can dual screen things. So I'll quickly show you what you can do with that. So I've got Premiere Pro set up there, I'll get to that in a minute. And you can basically just drag it across. Uh, that just gives you loads more screen space and just a ton more productivity. Because uh, I edit, I upload, you know, I need lots of things going at the same time. I'm using Photoshop and all that stuff, so two screens is a must for me. Uh, basically, that's just linked up with a HDMI cable in there. Goes in the back of the screen. Um, got my wallet and my iPhone 5S. That is on a three unlimited data plan. Uh, I get through so much data, probably like 100 gigabytes a month. So that's why I need unlimited. Underneath here is just my lacy, uh, rugged hard drive uh, i back up everything i do some people delete their video content which to me is just a bit strange uh, but i keep all mine that's a thunderbolt um just a thunderbolt cable on that so it means it just transfers so quickly i'm all about speed i think if you want to be doing a sports channel or a fan channel you need speed that transfers data so quickly it's expensive but it's good under here i've got like three pairs of uh, beats headphones because I've got one pair free, uh, no I've got two pairs of them for free and one I bought and they're pretty decent headphones. Another hard drive, some train tickets and that crap. Here's my old PC, I don't actually use my PC anymore, um, it's just so old and worn out. But I edited my videos for like four years on that so it got its use. Um, there's an old microphone, Logitech microphone, I used to re record all my voiceover work on that, some mints. Uh, and then we move to like where I keep all my equipment. Uh, that's my view, by the way. Pretty decent. There's like a golf course over there. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. Um, there's a 
globe made out of a jigsaw that took ages to make. So my board pens. Uh, that is a Gorilla Pod, so it's like a tripod. I often use that to mount my microphone. There is a Rode microphone. I wouldn't recommend getting one of them. Um, that's a really old model. I don't know about the new Rode microphones, but not a massive fan of that microphone. I did use it for a while, but it's not that great. Um, this is a light, so it basically it's got a hot shoe mount, so you can mount it on your camera, uh, and it's just really good. It's powered by like eight AA batteries, and it eats them up, so it's pretty expensive to run, but this is what I use for my fan cams in the winter because it gets really dark, and this thing is so, so bright. Let me try and, so that's like Carroll Road normally. Uh, I didn't show it very well, but this thing is so, so bright. It's so good. It is a Niwa CN160, I think it's like 20 quid. If you want to be filming in the dark, that is the thing you need. And there is a little dongle, which I used to upload on the go. Uh, that is probably one of my best investments ever. It just means I can get my videos up ultra quick. Like when, I, when, we went to, um, when we went to Chelsea last week, I just whacked it up, um, got it running, edited in the train station, got them all up within like two hours after for, uh, full time. That is an Anchor portable charger. If you've got an iPhone, you'll know the struggle with the battery. So the, I take that on like away days. So there's some wireless headphones and a strap for my arm when I go running. In here is my 70 to 300 mil lens, which attaches to my Canon 650D. I'll get onto that in a minute. And in there is just a load of general crap, chargers, important bag stuff and all that. So this is my new setup uh, from the back. You probably don't ever get to see this view. So I basically got my camera mounted on a cheap little tripod. Um, so this is the Canon 650D. This is the camera I've been using for like five years now. It is an absolute beast. Um, entry level DSLR camera with a stand kit lens on, but it just does the job so well. And it also has this like rotatable screen on it, which is so, so handy um, for video people because I can sit over there and still see what the camera is shooting. As I said, that's just mounted on a pretty standard tripod. I've actually got a Manfrotto tripod, which cost me quite a bit, but it's like exactly the same. If you can pick up a cheap tripod, try and get one. That's really sturdy and that cost me like eight quid. My Manfrotto tripod cost me like 80 quid and it's exactly the same thing. Um, here's my whiteboard. Um, it used to be on that wall over there. That's what I used to um, record my preferred 11s on, but due to the setup, I've had to move that. So I'm gonna try and mount that somewhere else. I've got one soft box light there, oh, overexposure, uh, and then another one, which is just like collapsed for the moment down there. They are so, so good. If you wanna be recording videos, you need good lighting. You can pick up two soft boxes on Amazon for like 50 quid. They just illuminate the room so well. Otherwise you get that like horrible orange tint that you get from normal light bulbs, and it just it's just horrible, it doesn't work. Just get some soft boxes if you wanna record. So yeah, that shoots that way against the white wall, uh, which bounces the light really nicely. This is a Habitat desk. Um, Habitat's a really nice furniture make, and there's just a backlog of EDPs. Uh, this is the audio recording um, device I use. It is a Zoom H1. I use that for my... Um, fan cams and then I just mount a little foam thing on it to stop the wind going into it uh, and then for the, my indoor studio setup I just plug in a uh, lapel microphone which was like five quid off Amazon it's a speed link something uh, just type in lapel mic on Amazon though there's just an orange city shirt because I always wear that in my videos there's a really cheap notepad don't take that to business meetings it's really cheap, it looks tacky, but it's good for my notes indoors. And then just a personalized Talk Norwich City mug. Um, but let's get back to audio. This thing is brilliant. And I'll tell you why. If you're wanting to record audio, that's why I don't really like the Rode. I used to plug my Rode microphone into my uh, 60, 650D. It goes in like there. Don't plug audio devices into your cameras. And the reason why is because cameras are not made to record audio, they're there for video and still images. If you record an audio device into that, you're gonna get a horrible hiss, it's just gonna sound really tinny, you can plug a 400 pound microphone into that and it'll still sound the same as that Rode microphone. It's hissy, it's horrible, but these things are made for recording audio, so much better quality, you'll get such a nicer sound out of it, and it's just so much better. So that's that, um, I've got a monopod in here somewhere, I'm not sure where it is, uh, and then I've just got some photo frames down there which I will be using to put pictures up on that wall. So that's my studio. I've got a few books up here. Um, 
That's my favourite book actually. The Messi book is really good. Tales of the City, uh, Tales from the City, sorry, is really good. Um, that's really good. Don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, Up Pompeii is really good. And then like that, and a um, moose. Uh, yeah, I can't remember who sent me that, but it's really nice. It's like a Legends thing. So that's my studio, which I use to record all my videos. And then my bedroom is in here. Um, I would recommend anyone who has the ability to, to do all their work in a separate room to their bedroom. I used to do all my work in my bedroom. Productivity levels were low. It didn't work. So when we moved house, I was lucky enough to get two rooms, one being my studio, one being my bedroom, and it just works so much better. That is a, um, what do you call it, uh, pop art thing, Breaking Bad, uh, Walt and Jesse. Uh, the best TV series I've ever watched. There's just some schoolwork and stuff. And then this is my wardrobe. Um, probably a bit, probably a bit larger than your normal teenage boy's wardrobe. But I've got a horrible addiction to weird shirts. I spend like the majority of my money on fashion and um, and football tickets. Uh, so that isn't great. They're just filled with loads of clothes and my jeans and shirts and then jumpers and jackets, war jackets, scarves. Um, and stuff there, and then my iPad over here, and then the bed where the good stuff happens, um, and then some trophies up there. So that is pretty much my setup, um, and where I basically live. <laughs> I spend like the majority of my time in them two rooms. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, basically, let's just finish on what I edit on. This is Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. Easily the best editing software out there. Well, I think it is. It's the most user-friendly, the nicest interface, and it's all linked up to Adobe, and you'll probably be using Adobe Photoshop, so there's literally no reason why you wouldn't use Premiere Pro. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this. Thank you to Credo Asset Finance for funding this whole series. It is big, big appreciation to them. They're awesome. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Links to everything will be in the description below. Leave a comment if you like the setup, dislike it if you don't like it, um, and yeah, see you later. Peace out.